Hi guys, it's Crystal. So let's do a demonstration today, I want to. So yesterday, uh, I'll put a link to the video below in the description box. I opened this new yarn from Caron. This is um, the uh, Ogo, it's the Colorama Halo. And I thought it was the most beautiful, beautiful ombre I have ever seen. So remember, watch that video if you have not seen it yet. You'll see that I gave it very high reviews, even though I'm not a huge fan of the Ogo shape. So we're gonna, I'm, we're going to uh, cake it up today to see what she looks like in a cake. Um, see if it still keeps that nice ombre effect when it's in cake form. And then I'm gonna run it all, the whole thing through my Addy and we're gonna look for through, we'll look and see if there's any visible signs of transition in color or see if, and we're gonna see if it's just a complete slow fade. I think it's gonna be gorgeous. Let's do it. All right, so for this uh, particular type of yarn here, this Ogo shaped donut yarn, we're not gonna need a swift <clears throat> to use it. The swift, to wind it on, you can just wind it right from straight from your desk if you have a ball winder. So you can see we got this piece of, kind of looks like fishing string in there. We're gonna clip that. And you can start from either end of these Ogos. I'm actually gonna go from light to dark. I'm gonna make the center of my cake light because I, I always start my cakes in the center. And then I'm going to uh, end it in the dark. <laughs> that looks like a big worm, don't it? Yeah, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right, all right. So I'm gonna load it up. Excuse my messy desk. I am a bit of a slob. I'm gonna load it up on my, <clears throat> my, uh, I have a Stanwood King size um, yarn ball winder. So this is what we're going to load it up on. Remember, this needs no swift because it's just going to come straight from the end of the Ogo. Which is, it's, which is good. I'm super excited. Like I said, since I start my cakes, when I use yarn, um, I always pull from the center of the cake. So, and I want my cake to start from light to dark. So that's how I'm going to roll it. I'm going to start with the light and end it in the dark. But of course you could do it any way you want. So let me kind of get adjusted here. See how well she works. Okay, so the light is pulling from the outside. So these Ogos are supposed to be a tangle free option of yarn. Oh, I'm so excited. See how it's coming off. The Ogo here, I'll go kind of slow. Now, if I would have pulled from the other direction, the uh, dark, it would have came from the center of the Ogo. One side comes from the outside of the Ogo, and one side comes from the center. So, I'm going to keep doing this until I get it all wound up into the cake. And we'll look at it in cake form versus the Ogo form. And then we're going to do it on the Addy and see what she looks like. All right, there it is. Ooh, that's beautiful. Okay, now this is what it looks like coming off the uh, machine. It is beautiful. Here's the other side. Now, I did have a little trouble with it because it was b it being a bit thicker of a four weight. Uh, it's actually classified as a bulky five and it has that halo. I do have the big winder, but it was having trouble because it was such a big cake. So this is what the bottom looks like. You can see that it was starting to overlap on the bottom. But that is a beautiful, beautiful cake of ombre yarn. Now, I know that um, everybody was saying, well, if you don't like the Ogo, just cake it up. Of course, of course, I can do that. But not everybody has that capability. Not everybody has a winder. Not everybody can wants to sit there and um, wind an Ogo by hand into a ball. Um, so when I use it, of course, I'll cake it up. But just my personal opinion, for those who don't like the shake up the donut ring, I think that they would probably sell more um, of this beautiful yarn if they sold it in a cake like this. I mean, because this is gorgeous. This has to be one of the best ombres that I've seen, like I said, on the market. That's, that's easily accessible in the United States. It is very, very beautiful. Um, let's see what it looks like on the Addy. Um, I'm going to make a scarf using this entire cake. And I do not, I'm going to predict that I'm not going to see any visible line of transition of color. I think it's going to be an ex, just a very slow fade. If any transitional line, it's going to be so, so 
a faint to that it's probably not going to be even noticeable i think yarn inspirations did a wonderful job i'm with this yarn it's gorgeous well addy time all right i have it laid out on my bed look at this you cannot see where one collar starts and one collar ends that is a fine specimen of an ombre the best i have ever seen in a very very long time look at that it went through the addy completely easy even though it is classified as a bulky five i did not have no trouble with it this cake did not have one visible knot that is one gorgeous yarn let's feel it that is going to make one nice scarf sweater let me take it into my lighted up room show it. now that you've seen it all kind of spread out and my dog there's doug <laughs> just had to show you that's beautiful isn't it that is beautiful all right in conclusion that one entire cake now if you want to know more about the specs and everything please refer to my uh first video made about a seven foot but it's double layered uh scarf on my addy see how it's two layers and it is so soft it's very pretty but it is not like a latte cake it is it is different it is a different kind of soft it's not as fuzzy um it's not as silky but it's soft in a different way and if you look closely you can see the little hairs on it that's why it's called the halo the Colorama Halo. I am super impressed with this yarn. I am just super impressed with that ombre, how they got that slow fade. And you cannot tell where one collar starts and the other ends. I mean, that is one beautiful yarn. I'm going to make a sweater out of the yellow that I purchased, and I cannot wait to get started on it. I'm actually making my son a vest right now. He asked me for one. I can't believe it about, about passed out. But when I get that finished, yes, this will probably be on my hook next. Ooh, it's so pretty. I didn't, <clears throat> excuse me, I didn't tie this off because I'm going to um, unwrap it and cake it back up so I can use it for something else. But this is gorgeous. Hey, I highly recommend it. Again, man, excellent job, Karen. If you could put this in cake form, though, I think it would probably sell better. But otherwise, I mean, I'll buy it in the Ogo form and I'll cake it up myself. But I know not everybody has uh, the winder to be able to do that. But thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye, guys.